Welcome to this video in which we are going to show you a patient who is pseudophagic. You can see this is the bright shining reflex from the slit lamp bulb. You can see that slit lamp bulb shining over here. This patient is pseudophagic and obviously here you can see thick posterior capsule opacification and there is a posterior capsulotomy which has already been done in this patient but there seems to be a frill of thick posterior capsule over here. And what are these, these small dots over here? These, because the capsule is very thick, so it seems that higher power was used and there is pitting of the intraocular lens when you're doing YAG laser. So if this is the lens and the laser light comes in from here and you're going to produce that explosion over here of the posterior capsule, if the energy is high, that tends to produce some pitting of the lens. And sometimes if you do not focus well, you can actually get that pitting inside the surface of the lens. And this is more of pitting, but if you are hitting the lens inside, you'll get more sort of a crack, which gives you a star-shaped appearance like this. So if we move forward, so you can see the slit beam in the anterior chamber, and we're doing a retro illumination of the lens to see uh, the uh, posterior capsule thickening in the area but because the pupil when it's constricted is not going to come in the way of his visual action so it's probably this amount of posterior capsule uh, posterior capsulotomy might be adequate for the patient but sometime with this kind of thickness it is better to go in and, and incise this posterior capsule thickening using a needle and then using a cutter to make a larger hole in this area. But whenever you're doing a posterior capsulotomy, you have to be careful that you do not destabilize the lens and the lens does not fall down into the vitreous cavity. That is of utmost importance. Whenever you're doing that, before you start, just check before if there's any posterior capsular rent which you uh, can be uh, visualized through this. So in order to see if the patient can see through this type of Capsulotomy, usually the pitting is uh, not very significant for the patient. They usually are able to see clearly through this. And on 90 d examination, the disc seems pretty healthy in this patient and otherwise seems to be okay. So here you see the optic disc. So it seems to be about 0.3 or 0.4 cupping, which you see with a 90 diopter down. So there doesn't seem to be any glucometer changes. So this is the important examination. Uh, especially in patients post-yag posterior capsulotomy. Thank you very much for watching.